And again, it's Jason with another video for EEM 171 codes and installation. And in this video, we're going to look at one of your other projects that's not on the wiring boards over there, but that is the uh, ballast. Okay, not going to go through the whole process of doing this, but I think this will give you enough idea of what you got to do to. Uh, for you to understand it, okay? So, this is our ballast, okay, right here, and that is what we're gonna change out, okay? So, in these fluorescent lights, these do go bad, okay, and have to be changed periodically, okay? So to do that, you'll wanna look at the specifics on the ballast and determine what type it is and find some sort of model number so that you can buy the correct replacement for it. Um, some of the key things to look at are voltage, you know, what is the normal operating voltage coming in for what we have is 120 but it may be some other voltage. Another major thing is number of lights, okay. This fixture only has two fluorescent bulbs the light fixture itself may have three or even four bulbs, okay? So all that makes a difference on what type of ballast you actually have to get to replace it with, okay? But the process to change is pretty simple, okay? So down here, you have your power coming in, okay? So this is my 120. So on the ballast, that is black and white. Okay, just like we've been looking at. Black is your hot, white is your neutral. Okay. In typical applications, you will have to wire this up hot. Okay, because this light will be in a group with many other lights. You know, maybe 10 to 20 lights. Okay, so you can't shut down all the lights. For one reason, you won't be able to see. Plus, if you're in a plant or something, you can't cut all the lights out while everybody's working and production's running, okay? Change that out. So what you'll want to do is actually take the hot wire and get it off by itself and actually cut it, okay? And then take that connection and wire nut it and cap it off so that you don't accidentally touch it and get electrocuted, okay? Then go through and actually cut every single wire, the neutral wire, each of these up here, two reds, two blues, and two yellows, okay? So this one's already been replaced before, so that's why it's already been cut and we have wire nut connections. On a new light, everything's run direct. But once you replace it, you're actually just gonna splice into the wire by cutting it and making a wire nut connection. Okay, so you pull this out, there'll be a screw somewhere, either top or bottom. So on this one, it's up top. Remove that, pull the old ballast out, put your new one in, and you basically just match your wire colors. So on this one, take red from the ballast to one of your red wires, take the other red wire to the other red wire on your light, blue wire from ballast to one of the blue wires in your light, the other blue wire in your ballast to the other blue wire in the light, one of your yellow wires to one of the yellow wires on the light, and this one actually got cut short so we had to, to piece it here but that connects to the yellow, and your other yellow light, other yellow wire to your other yellow wire in the light. Okay, so all this is is matching wire colors. That's as complicated as it gets, okay? Again, white to white, neutral. And if you were wiring this up hot, your black would be the last thing that you do, okay? So that would be the last connection you'd want to make, okay? is actually to wire up those two together, okay? So you want the hot to be your first and last connection. The reason you want it first, that cuts power to the ballast, so any other work you do up here, you don't have to worry 
about the possibility of getting shot. Okay? And the same thing for this being the last connection. When you put your new ballast in, wiring these connections here, again, there's no power to the ballast until it's at the very end. So again, minimizes the risk of, of shock. Okay? So that would be your last connection. Cram all the wires back into the light. Put the cover back on. And your bulbs. Okay. And if you're wiring it hot, as soon as you put your bulbs in, it would come on. Okay. So that's pretty much all there is to the light ballast. Again, it's not very complicated, it's just matching colors. Red to red, blue to blue, yellow to yellow, white and black. Okay? Alright, hope this helps. And that's all for now.